get ready for some heat. It is certainly going to be hot around here. We do have some thunderstorms out there. If you remember yesterday, we had some really intense rainfall. There are still some heavier pockets out there, but so far the Front Range Eastern Plains, we haven't gotten much of it, and we really don't expect to. So you can see those scattered showers all the way from the foothills down into our southwestern corner. We'll start by zooming on into the high country foothill areas. You can see near Grand Lake, a little bit of thunderstorm activity near Meeker. We've had a little bit as well, heading more down to the south, a little bit more action in this area near Telluride. You can see uh, we have some thunderstorms uh, just south of that, also near Creed, and then as we head up towards Gunnison, close to Salida and Fair Play as well. And thanks to some heavier rainfall in that southwestern corner, we do have a flash flood watch in place, really for that 416 burn scar area through 9 o'clock tonight, and then we could see more rain in this area tomorrow, so we have another one on Saturday. So just be extra careful if you live in these areas. Those flash floods will pop up very, very quickly. Looking at our uh, spring fire, this one's near Levita Pass. Uh, right now it is over 100,000 acres at about 35% containment, and there is still a slight chance we get a few isolated showers there tonight, so we're keeping our fingers crossed for some rain, and as we head into the Lake Christine fire that's over 5,000 acres, we may see just a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm in that area tonight, but it could bring some gusty winds, which of course is not what we want in that area. Taking a look at our future cast for tonight again, just a slight chance of maybe a pop or two to the north, but most of these storms will clear out by tomorrow morning, and then we're looking at a sunny start to the day. It's hot for the Front Range Eastern Plains, but we may still see some storms, storms fire up in the foothills and then down into that southwestern corner where, again, we are concerned about flooding. Those will continue on and off throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. They don't look to be severe, but while they're getting some rain and some thunderstorms, the Front Range Eastern Plains, we will stay dry and get extremely hot around here. So find a way to stay cool. It's hot again today. We had that slight break yesterday. 91 in Denver right now, 90 in Fort Collins, 86 out in Burlington, 94 in La Junta, but that is nice uh, compared to the triple digits they've had earlier last uh, earlier this week and last week as well. 85 in Steamboat and 97 in uh, Grand Junction. Really hot. So when we talk about we're heating up for the weekend, it's thanks a lot in part to this desert air. 111 in Phoenix, 118 in Death Valley. We're talking 117 right now as we head towards Palm Springs. So again, that hot, dry air is really shifting into our area. But it is monsoon season, so we're tapping into a little bit of that as well. 79 from our weather watcher, Bob Rising in Estes Park. He said there's a little bit, a little bit thunderstorm activity where he's at. We have 90 degrees here downtown. Winds are out of the east at 14 miles an hour and 23% humidity. Earlier today, 92 out of DIA, 90 downtown, just a couple of degrees above our average, and we're going to go well above that as we head towards the weekend. 65 in Denver tonight, 61 in Fort Collins and Greeley, 60s out on the eastern plains, 40s, 50s tonight in the high country, 50s, 60s off to our west, and tomorrow, like I said, we really heat up. 98 in Denver and Greeley, 97 in Fort Collins, also in La Junta, 94 in Ray, high country. It's hot for you, too. 80 degrees in Frisco, 83 in Aspen, and we have the mid-90s for almost the entire western side of the state. Tomorrow will be another ozone action day, so if you have any respiratory issues, make sure you're trying to limit your time outside. It's so smoky and hazy thanks to all of those wildfires. We're still hot on Sunday, but we may see an isolated storm out there and uh, maybe some isolated storms possible by the middle of the next week, but really the name of the game for the next several days is just hot and dry for the mm. front range. But just think it could be 117 like it is in Palm <laughs> it Springs. It could be. Right. Yes. I love